Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today it is getting to be that time of year. It is spring. It's it's just you can feel it in the air. We had a great trip up to Clear Lake a couple weeks ago, throwing that uh, those A rigs around with that Grande Bass Kickback Shad. Man, that those things are so durable and last so well. I hope you enjoyed that video. But today I'm gonna paint some baits. Um, it's springtime. I'm gonna paint some kind of red and orange crawls and I'm gonna do a little something different with a kind of a blue pattern. I made a new stencil. I'm gonna try it out today. Let me know what you think. Uh, you know, down in the comments or wherever. Um, anyway, hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get to painting. All right, so you guys know I was pretty sick over the Christmas time and I still got a cough that just won't go away. So I bought myself a little respirator so I'm not breathing in so much fume. So might be a little less talking during this video, which maybe some of you will like that, which is cool. Maybe it'll make for a shorter video. But at the end of the day, we're gonna paint up these two square bills in two different patterns. Uh, one of these is gonna get a white base coat. One's gonna get a black base coat. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna start the process of making some new different kind of craws. So here we go. All right, we got both of these primed up. Um, we got the black one here, we got the white one here, got the white paint here, the black paint there. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna heat set these really good. I am gonna throw a clear coat on them because the pattern I'm doing, I wanna create a little bit of depth and this will definitely do that. So I'm gonna throw a little bit of the Alumalite UV on them, uh, throw them in the UV chamber, I'm gonna put a real thin coat on them and then we're gonna go on to the next step with these guys. While we're waiting on those to cure in the UV chamber, you guys remember the crawl that I did, right? The uh, wooden crawl, fall through the water thing. Um, I hope you remember it. Anyway, up here, if I can get it without knocking stuff over, this little guy here, as you can see, it's kind of the same bait. It's gonna be prototype number two. So stay tuned for that. That thing is gonna be a little bit funkier than the other, the first one. Same cool design, same cool thing, but it's gonna have some different kind of action. And it's gonna have a little bit more weight because I went and fished that other one and it was miserable waiting for that thing to sink. It was just way too light. So anyway, and I'm sure my hair is just jacked all the hell because I'm wearing that mask thing. But anyway, it should be cool. And uh, so stay tuned for that one that's coming up. These will be done in the UV chamber in just a couple of minutes and then we'll get back to the paint. All right, the white one's out. You can see it's got that shimmer to it, that uh, fresh paint smell. I don't know. Anyway, it looks good. I'm going to put some masking uh, back on the bill itself, and then we're going to layer it with some of this material to really create a different kind of craw. Now before I put my Darth Vader mask back on and I quit talking, I'm gonna give you an idea of what we're gonna do here. So first thing we're gonna do is we are going to apply a layer, a very light layer of the opaque white again. And the reason is, is because I want it to just to adhere, adhere to the surface here really well. That's easy. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna layer this top part with a, a, a blue color. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna put the stenciling in on the side and uh, with some pearl white bottom. Uh, it's gonna be a kind of a subtle bait, but hopefully, again, this thing turns out pretty cool. So, gonna do the white off camera and then we'll be back to start the color process. All 
All right, we've got the base portion of this bait done now. Now it's time for the stencil. It's gonna be a little tricky. I got a couple of different versions of it here, but this is gonna be the base one. So um, bear with me. First time using this one. Getting it lined up and everything is gonna be a little tricky, but it should turn out pretty cool. All right, I told you this was gonna be different. Um, so now I've gotta bring the lines up and over, and I'm gonna use one of my older stencils for that, just because it has a, a long, jagged line. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring this one up and over, and this one up and over, and this one up and over. I think that little white dot right there is where the blue might have touched on the, yep, there it is right there. Wasn't set good, that's okay, I've still got some of the blue, I'll just touch that up really carefully. But that turned out pretty cool looking, that's different. Um, and then we're gonna go back on the bottom and I'm just gonna, once I get all the masking off, and lightly spritz just the very bottom with that pearl white. So let me touch this up and then we'll get to the finishing stages of this bait. All right, I touched up that top. You can hardly tell it's even there. Minor mistake, easily fixed. All right, let's strip the, um, all the fanciness of this stuff away so we can do our big reveal here. Um, all right, so remember the trick on this, you kind of separate it from the back, pull it away a little bit and then just like a band-aid kaboosh. That, that's pretty neat looking. A uh, little bit of potting there where it ripped off a little more than it should have, but look at that cool blue pattern. That is pretty cool. I'm digging it. So we're gonna hit the bottom with the pearl and then we'll be ready for clear coat and this sucker will be done. All right, here we go for the pearl white on the bottom. All right, time for the black one. So the black one's gonna be a little bit different and then we're gonna mask it. Then we're gonna put a layer of white on because we're gonna be using some reds and some oranges. So we're gonna want that, that really bright, vibrant color. We need that white base coat to achieve that. So we'll put on the white off camera, heat set it, and then we'll be ready to rock with the reds and oranges. All right, so she's primed back up white. So we're gonna hit it with some crimson, wicked crimson, get that really dark back. And then we're gonna come back with some pearlized orange and hit the belly. I really like those pearl colors on the bottom. You know, fish are always looking up, right? So if they're looking up, then then that pearl is gonna give off just a little bit of flash and, and that ought to draw them in for the, for the kill. say that this is looking pretty good um, I like doing that like blood red top it gives it just a little bit of a darker vibe before it rolls over like that so um, we're gonna heat set that we're gonna get it solidly done and then we're gonna break out break out that black once again to start doing our stencil pattern on the sides So just like the last one, the only thing we have left at this point is the bottom of the bait down here. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna take off the masking material. Hold on, I forgot the heat set again. Gotta get that stuff set so that we don't have a problem when we go to peel this paint back or this masking material back. That black comes out pretty dry as it is. So it's, and I say dry, but you know what I mean. It dries really quickly, so. 
Ah, it didn't turn out as cool as I thought. I was hoping the black would show through, but it really didn't. It was, it just kind of didn't. I mean, it still looks cool, don't get me wrong. The black's on the bottom, which we're gonna hit with that orange, but yeah, whatever. Stupid paint. All right, here she is with the orange on the belly. Looking pretty sexy to me. Um, we're gonna get this sucker in the UV chamber. The blue one's been in there for a while, so it ought to be ready pretty quick, but we're gonna get this one in there so they can get their clear coat on and be ready for the big reveal. All right, well, I just finished putting on the split rings and the hooks on the blue one. Man, that thing looks cool. That is gonna catch some fish. That pearl blue, or the pearl white on the bottom turned out really well. Gives it that flash, that little bit that, that works so well. The clear coat could use a second coat of clear, I think, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I mean, this is just for me to use. But I really dig the way it turned out. I think it looks good. I think it looks bright enough, and a little bit of that subtle differences will make it work really cool. Might have worked well with some orange underneath, the orange with the blue. Um, you know, maybe the for the 40 or the uh, Bronco fan out there, it might have looked kind of cool. But for me, I think this is really kind of a subtle bait that's just gonna work really good. So let me go pull the orange one out and let's check out how it turned out after the clear coat. All right, here is the red one. You know, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, it didn't work out exactly the way I thought it was gonna. I wanted that black to pop through, but it, it didn't happen that way. But it still looks cool and it's still gonna catch fish. That orange on the bottom, combined with that bold red fading and transitioning, I think this is a money maker. Uh, you know, it's that time of year where you wanna be throwing these red colors, and I think that, that this one right here is gonna catch me a lot of fish this spring. So, there it is, there's the two of them. Let me, whoops, just poked myself, that's always fun. So there they are, the two new baits from today. Very similar, but oh so different. I just, I really dig them and can't wait to get them wet. All right, that's it. That wraps up another video. I always appreciate you guys watching, enjoying these videos. Hope, hopefully you're enjoying them. You know, they don't always turn out the way we think. Uh, you know, I tried to do that clear coat on the black thinking it would, would provide that layer. Maybe I shouldn't have done that layer of white. I don't know, but it didn't exactly work out. These things happen. <laughs> whatever so we'll just do it better next time right until then i want to thank each and every one of you for watching if you did enjoy this video please hit that like and subscribe button if you're not a subscriber and to all my existing subscribers thank you i appreciate the support and we'll see you next video